this a crash. I'm going to help you uh, work with Windows Movie Maker. Some of this is going to seem obvious to people, and some of it is going to be very foreign. Mind you, I'm going to be dealing with all variety of an audience, and some people that don't even know they have Movie Maker, or people that are just discovering it now. Now, <clears throat> what I want everybody to do is, regardless of your skill level, is to go to View, turn on Toolbar, Status Bar, Task Pane, in Thumbnail. This will make sure, this area here, I want to make sure I get it right, this is called the Task Pane, which is very important to what we're going to do. Now, for starters, you can't do view effects and transitions without having anything. So what we're going to do is scroll up. I'm going to start with pictures. Import pictures. Picture one. Picture two. Now, instead of doing one at a time, you can put them all in one folder and just do control A for all of them. There's too many here. And you can deal with it that way. All right, next, no particular order. The same rule applies to pictures that applies to audio or music or video. Now the timeline is on the bottom down here. First line is video, transitions, which I'll get into later on, audio, which will be from the video, audio and music, and title overlay. thinking to myself here, I'm going to start with a credit, I'm going to want to call it something, or give some of the introduct people, intro intro excuse me, introductions. So I have a choice, I can go title, the beginning, before, after the selected clip, which has to do with where the bar is, but there's nothing down here right now, and credits at the end. So I will go at the beginning. I'm just going to make this very simple. Here's the top one, which will be large letters, look over to the right hand side, you'll see an example here, and small below. So in other words, illustration here and maybe disclaimer in the bottom was fine. Or what you're talking about with my web address in the bottom is fine too. This way it'll also fit. Now to take in the video. Same idea. Right click. Import. I'm going to pause this. Alright, as you notice, there's a few segments here is good because it gives me more flexibility. Now, for instance, I'm going to try to remember this. Okay, let's say this is all in one video and you're upset. You says, damn, I got 10 minutes here. I want to split it up. Well, which I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to show you what you do. You right click and do create clips. And this is what you'll get. Clips. All right, now I see something I want here. I'm going to go to the second one, first quarter mile, and I'm going to add the timeline. Now, I can take this and manually drag it to if I wanted, but I'm not going to. I needed what I'm able to. Now I'm going to go back to import pictures. Granted, I can go back to where they were before, but I'm going to do them here. Here we go. Now I'm going to drag it right down to the bottom here. Now I'm kind of curious now. Instead of just going straight through from point A to point B, as it will do now, it's just, I don't know. I want to do a transition. So what we're going to do is we're going to go video transition and I'm thinking I don't know I have all these options here what do I want to do actually I like bars they're actually kind of nice it's not too ugly like some of them are at the timeline now you will see down here this is where it went I mean you can move it manually anywhere you want also if some people want to extend your clips you want to slow them down or you want to make them longer what you do is you just take the bar I'm sorry the let me focus where I'm going first Go over here, and you can extend the video. In this case, shorten it, elongate it, whatever you want to do. All right, now, here's the transition you're about to see. All right, now next, now I'm going to show you a video effects. I'm going to right-click on my video, video effects. There's a lot here now we can do. We can do blur, brightness, ease in, ease out, fade, all this. That's, watch, hit the little green. Pixelate, and I'll hit add, and hit OK. Now under here, 
this cursor is, is where the transition went. It can be moved anywhere. It can be 